Welcome to Squad Ops. It's another night here with us. We're running Operation Desperado. Welcome, everybody. It's going to be a fun op tonight. I hope everybody enjoys their, uh, their view of it. Right now, I'm, I'm watching the INS get their, uh, their vehicles sorted out. and looks like they've got a line of motorcycles lined up here like it's a used car dealership in front of the mosque. So this is an awesome op. Uh, let's just get right into it. Let's go ahead and just talk about our commanders tonight. Uh, for the INS side, uh, Google Trek is commanding. It's his first time commanding. So that'll be a fun watch tonight to see how he, uh, he runs the show for the INS. And then on the other side is Best Pony. He's a multiple time commander, so I'm sure he'll come up with some kind of interesting plans going on about how he wants to approach it. And tonight with me, I've got Carpy. Say hey, hello. everybody. How's it going? I'm excited to be here tonight. It's my first time commentating with you, and uh, I hope we can uh, experience something fun tonight. Yeah, I think it's like my third time commentating, so it's always <laughs> commentating. I think it's even harder than commanding, which I've done a lot of. So I'm going to go over the squad leaders I got on the INS side. Of course, Google Trex is commanding. I've got Sightless, Odessa, SM Paradigm, and um, Truth Realm. Who do you got over there, Carpy, that's on the US side commanding and squad leading? Uh, well, so, yep. on the U.S. side, for Commander, we have Best Pony. Now, Best Pony is a very experienced Commander. Now, we have Server Error as a squad leader, Turtle Guy 5 as a squad leader, and Bon Solo as a squad leader, the Gaming Brennan, and, and that's it. Awesome. A bunch of guys have done this before. Game, yeah. game fuel? What is game fuel? Yeah, dude, it's so good. It's like uh, Isn't it like code red and live like So uh the main objective of this op tonight is for the US to do some route clearance and um uh, they get all sorts of different assets to do that with and uh in the earlier op I think to the EU session that we held today, the US actually got to uh went to went to Xville. And Xfield successfully, I think that was the first time they actually made it to Xfield. I think they've actually taken down the roadblock before and were on their way, but they didn't actually get there. Virgil's is this, uh, Virgil's is some fucking micro brewed soda company, and they make like black cherry soda, root beer, and they make. All right, well, let's take a let's go ahead and take a look at what the assets they get, what the, everybody gets to play with. US is going to get two times AR, a grenade launcher, uh, lat, medic. They get. Uh, two Humvees and an MRAP this time, and two transport trucks. It's a little change to layer there. Insurgents get a whole lot of different kits. They get two times AR, they get a, uh, a LAT, a Scout, a Raider, and a Medic. They also get two Dishka technicals, uh, two logistics trucks, the FOB, which they can put on uh, two emplacements of Dishkas, and a mortar if they so see fit. All right, so for the op operation overview, the U.S. has to take or has to clear the roadblock in the city. Uh, the insurgent forces must defend the roadblock of the main road of al Bashar as long as possible. And after destroying the roadblock, the United States forces must exfil to uh, estates this time, We're switching it to estates. Yeah, well... A little change on the layer because of the update to Al Basra. So now they actually have a little bit of a, a city down to the south here of Al Basra. So that makes more sense to exfil over there than to cross the island. So a couple of little changes. The MRAP's a new one and the exfil locations changed. This op was actually designed for uh, the uh, Al Basra reveal that OWI held and we were invited to go ahead and run up on it. So this is the op that we designed for the for this map when it first came out for the uh, for the map reveal. Uh, it hasn't seen much changes yet, but this is the first time that the map's been updated, so we see some changes. Uh, this is actually kind of a fun op to be in, to be on the streets of Al Basra, because the US has to kind of clear out all these buildings to get anywhere close near to where the, uh, the roadblock is. And of course, that roadblocks can be represented by a hab, which I'm looking at the stakes right now. 
here set up. It looks like they've chosen the north side of the uh, the main thoroughfare here through Al Basra. They can set it anywhere on this uh, main thoroughfare for about you know, 600 meters length, so they can go from the north side all the way to the south where it begins to turn, but they've chosen the north side, so this will be fun. It'll be in plain sight for the U.S., so they'll know exactly where the roadblock is. Sometimes the, uh, the insurgents will like to hide it in the middle at the crossroads or a little bit further south, so the U.S. has to come deeper into El Bowser to clear it off. So uh, in the US, U.S. session, or the EU session, uh, uh, late, earlier today, Carpe, it was your first time squad leading, wasn't it? And it, it was. was. It was, uh, you know, it was really exciting. I was really nervous at first, you know. Uh, I was a little nervous about being under pressure and trying to command all the guys, but I really did have a supportive team, and they said they had a lot of fun. Um, we actually got to ride some motorbikes earlier uh, and try to run to village turn into chaos right away but all the guys you know they were laughing having a good time yeah it looks looks like they've got some motorbikes bikes lined up over here and they might try the uh, the motorcycle gang again so yeah i'm excited to see that i really can't wait it's gonna be awesome so i haven't heard much on the ins side as far as what their plans are i just see a bunch of motorcycles here of course if you look at uh, in the top right hand corner of my screen I'm actually following the U.S., so the INS is going to be uh, outlined in red, and the U.S. is going to be outlined in blue. Uh, if you're just tuning in and seeing it the first time on Twitch, uh, Squad Ops is a One Life uh, community. Uh, we use the, a game of Squad to run these One Life events. Uh, everybody is free to join. Uh, come in, come in, and enjoy the events, uh, play in them, watch them. Uh, everybody agrees to a certain set of rules. Uh, one of those rules is that once you're down, dead on the ground, there is no reviving. So they get to go ahead and respawn, come back in admin cam and take a look at the battlefield and take a look to see who killed them or what got them. But uh, that's just one of the several rules. Another one is uh, no jumping off of walls. Uh, nothing you would do in real life. If you think you're going to break your leg, you can't do it in squad ops. So it makes the events a little bit more slower paced, a little bit more tactical. Uh, a little bit more realistic so uh, a lot of the guys here they love it they stay here for the uh, the honor of the the system so that constant constant question we always get is that aren't aren't you afraid of the uh, stream and people uh, stream sniping that's not going to happen most of these guys here are for the fun they're too busy when you're in when these situations on the ground it's uh, very intense so these guys aren't going to be doing any kind of nonsense like that they're just too busy staying alive so yeah, I mean, the whole reason I got into squad ops and playing operations was the whole immersion aspect of the game. You know, you want to be you want to be in the game. You know, you want to be there. You want to experience it the way it should be played. And I feel like with these one life events, you know, that's that's the way this game should be played. This is the way to experience the game. So if you want to join our events, uh, we require you to go through uh, SOTT, which is Squad Ops Tactical Training. You have to take the, uh, the basic. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do it, any of the others, which are AWS, which stands for Advanced Weapon Systems, and the Vehicle Training. All you need to do is do the basic, which uh, takes you through the uh, kind of uh, basic understanding how we run the, the operations, uh, what your role will be in it. Uh, some formations, some fire commands, and just basic stuff that you would just uh, need to know so that when you're out in the field and the squad leaders or the fire team leads are shouting commands, you understand what's going on and you know what part you play and where to, where to go and uh, what formations look like uh, before the firefight start, kind of starts. So if anybody's interested, you can always go to squadops.gg, uh, look on the events or the calendar and find out when the next basic is. So. AWS is another fun one. We have go over the different weapon systems like uh, the Grenadier, the LAT, uh, HMGs, and then, of course, the vehicles is focused around the driver gunner relationship and convoys. So another good thing to you can take over to even your vanilla squad play. A lot of good stuff to learn there. So I actually uh, teach SOTT, so... <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of interest lately. We've been having a lot of large classes of uh, basic going on, so it's good to see, exciting to see a lot of new people, new faces in the ops. Uh, I 
sure there's quite a few tonight. So it'll be, it'll be fun to watch them scramble along the ground as they get they come under fire or whatever happens. All right, you guys better not fuck this up. They already have high hopes for our squad with all the good we have on here. So one of the cool things about the stream is that you get to see these first-person views of the actual guys on the ground, and right now you're watching Jay Remick. Yeah. I actually did my first, uh, you know, live stream from my view uh, just the other event on Wednesday, and uh, it was really fun, you know. I want people to experience my view. It's cool to just get that alternate perspective. I'll get you to pair with uh, Jagger, and uh, Peter will be here with his teammate. That's cool, that. So, if anybody has any questions for us, you know, just feel free to ask it in chat. We're watching it, we're monitoring it. We'll uh, answer right away to the best of our knowledge. Alright, buddy. I'll put you in need. Yeah, mate, so Peter, you like and me will be battle buddies, and it'll be uh, Jagger and King as battle buddies. Oh, it looks like everybody's starting to join in, filling it out. It looks like it's going to be a full op tonight. We're just waiting yeah, for everybody so I just to get I'm oh, sorry about that. You know, I just had a bunch of guys join in. It looks like they're starting to group up, starting to go over their plans. Um, hopefully, we can get a briefing going soon. It looks like they're getting started. Let me head over there. Yeah, once you join in, you got to get into your squad, then you get assigned your fire team, and then a kit. So it takes a little bit, and the squad leader usually has their own little system about if they want to break down to buddy teams or not. I'm sure that uh, sounds like command's still kind of going over their, their plan here on the U.S. side, so... Oh, well, we're, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and uh, let's look at some of these different point of views that we have tonight. Uh, it seems like a lot of them are going to be on the U.S. side for this round, so it'll be fun kind of get the interaction between the squads. So, of course, uh, XBIC, that's one of them. That's me. You've got my view. Uh, Carpy's another view. Uh, now you're looking at Jay Remick. It's crispy. A crazy Russian. Always a fun camera to be on. Server error 404. Big yes. Han Solo. And Google Trex, he's our lone insurgent camera. He's also your commander tonight. So, so big shout out to those guys. It makes this stream awesome. Not only having the overview, but the kind of the view of the ground and what's going on in the squad comms and all the chatter that's going on. It's awesome. These guys need a big thank for, thanks for that. Looks like US is gathering up for a platoon brief. Maybe we can zoom in and get the ears on and see what the big plan is here for the US side. Just waiting on one squad, it seems. Last minute details. I like easy plan. Are we gonna set fire to our trucks and run in there? Could she go? That's a hard no. Best point always comes up with crazy plans, so I'd be interested to see what he's planning tonight. It's very detailed about what he wants. I also heard rumors that if you join Best Pony Squad, you end up dead. 
Oh, uh, I have a quick question. Do uh, who's gonna be in the hotel know. with me? He's up. He's coming down though. Gonzo, me. Gonzo, okay. All right, if you could go ahead and like gently pop the question of, <laughs> cause I've never fucking seen that name before. So. Yeah. Hook behind Raider. Just wait, wait for the fucking brief to be done though. There you go. All right. Um. So yeah. Now that everyone's here, let's do our platoon brief. So. Welcome to Operation Desperado. Our objective is to take out an enemy half. It could be anywhere along this road from this mark all the way down to this mark. But I suspect it's going to be that second one. So we're going to gun for trying to control that four intersection. And honestly, we need to control that intersection anyways for phase two, uh, which is X filling out, because if they have control of that intersection, we are never fucking getting anywhere in this city, because that's where all the big multi stories are and they have great views and everything. So, to accomplish this, we're all going to convoy in the vehicles. We have the MRAP up front, we have a transport, a Humvee, another transport, another Humvee, and then, sorry, another Humvee. We're going to convoy with those VIX over to the uh, MSR near the refinery. Probably going to, you know, drop people off right about here. Maybe even go a little further, depending on how bad the insurgent contact looks. Then we're going to get three squads online. Uh, we're going to get squad one to go take the refinery. They're going to advance through and secure that area. Squad two is going to advance through and secure this section of buildings. Squad three is going to squad three is going to advance through and secure the middle building. And squad four is going to be securing our flank buildings over there on the side. The Humvee and MRAP, or sorry, the MRAP and Humvees are going to stay back. They're going to let everyone clear that area. Then they're going to take the dirt road in refinery and spit themselves out around uh, this intersection here as Squad 1 continues to keep clearing buildings in front of them. Then we're going to have one Humvee kind of come down and watch our flank here. Another Humvee is going to go and support Squad 2 as they continue their push through the mosque area buildings. And then the third Humvee is going to stick with Squad 1. Or sorry, the MRAP is going to stick with Squad 1 and help them uh, as they continue to clear that way. Basically what we're going to end up with, we're going to keep clearing buildings, Humvees and MRAP will stay and continue supporting. We're going to end up probably down here, and we're going to have to conduct a crossing of this shitty fucking street. And that's going to be a bit of a pain. We're going to use smokes to get our way across, but don't use all your smokes. We might need them later. Uh, once we've cleared all the way to this cluster of buildings here, and we should have probably about a third of each squad left alive at that point, plus uh, probably one MRAP and one Humvee, uh, given the enemy technicals. Yeah, we should be pretty well good set, and uh, the HAB should be gone, right? Because we're going to get the radio, or we're going to spot the HAB along the way and divert forces to take it out. So once we're down there and the HAB's gone, the radio's gone, we are going to mount back up in the vehicles with whatever forces we have and push those forces down into estates. Notice the US XFIL is kind of in the middle of estates. Uh, whatever, we're going to push some forces down to the XFIL, but the vehicles are then going to turn back and secure this bridge, this bridge, and this bridge. And then infantry are also going to push, and we're going to get a couple LMGs and some other guns facing this location. We're going to cut off their access to estates. Then, while well, the command element and some other infantry hide out in the actual XFIL, you know, those blocking elements, the various entrances to the southern island, We'll eliminate any enemies pushing up, and we'll we'll just win. Makes a sense. Plan. Yes. <laughs> Deliberately. I got. All right. Question. Everyone all set. Question. Sure. Question. Does the plan change if the hab is in the northernmost part of the MSR? Yes. They stick the hab right here for whatever reason. The way we're going to adapt the plan is we're then going to take squads 1, 2, and 3 and kind of pinwheel them out so that 2 uh, is going to, or sorry, not pinwheel. We're going to have 2 sort of move from this location over here over to this side of the MSR. We're going to have 3, or sorry, no, we're going to have, uh, yeah, no, sorry, I was right, 3. They're going to move through these buildings here and go and clear this corner. 4 is going to remain in this area. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's how that's going to play out. One's going to continue to hold down our flank over there. Then the Humvees and MRAP are going to provide support. We'll toss all of the team's smokes onto that, that HAB. 
uh, we'll have people kind of run out and dig it up from the inside. Then once it's completely gone, we fall back out of that location, get in the vehicles, and uh, continue with the plan, you know, just proceeding directly to estates and exfilling from there. But I think it's it's the overwhelmingly likely choice that the enemy is going to make is going to be to stick that hab right there. But still be on the lookout for it in the MSR. And just to make sure that the hab's not somewhere janky, uh, after we drop people off at refinery, I'm going to have, uh, I'm probably going to take a transport truck and drive that. And so I'll, I'll drive my transport truck out to this location here and get eyes on the MSR with my binoculars and see what the fuck's going on. Any questions? Can I suggest I something? Like straight of this slot. So we have two competing. Evan, you go first. All right. So when we go for the hab, I say we send like two people first, hoping they're gonna blow that IED, and then we'll send most of the guys to go dig it up, just like kind of bait them there. Well, that would be why we're popping the smokes. They don't know when we're uh, digging the hab. They're they're yeah, not going I mean, to instant. Yeah, if we pop the smokes, they're probably going to insta-blow it, right? So it's not going to kill anyone. We're going to wait for the smoke to build. We'll see if they blow it. If they don't blow it, we send a couple people. If they do blow it, we send everyone. Right. Basically, like, don't be an idiot. Uh, don't send three or four people directly to a small hab that doesn't even have cover for all of you. You should only be sending one or two guys to dig in the first place. That's, uh, yeah, how that should play out. All right. Backwards. So yeah, it looks like we're not getting our 40th. So, we're also down three people at start, because we have the two commentary people, and we uh, don't have our 40th. Uh, so just be very cognizant. It's like, we got to get kills early. Don't get yourself killed doing something stupid, because we cannot spare the manpower. We're already playing at a little, a very slight disadvantage. So, be smart. Check your corners. Use frags appropriately. Don't fuck up. You're the best pony. Very nice. Rainbow Dash is the best pony. That's that's no God's more. honest. No rarity is All right, no. if there's no other questions, uh, let's mount up in the vehicles. Your squad leads should already know which vehicles they're getting, but just to reiterate, one gets the MRAP, two gets the, set, the first Humvee, and three gets the second Humvee. And then four and command. Oh, there you have it. There's a plan. A whole bunch of questions. What do you think, Carpy? What do you think is going to go on over there? Uh, I'm excited to see. Uh, you know, it's hard to always like figure out what's going on until it actually goes down. Yeah, because you know, one good. little good. thing changes the asked, way the whole battle uh, goes. Asked, so uh, really, you have to just wait and see. You know, insurgents yeah, can send somebody yeah, out, scout yeah, them yeah, down, yeah, and then you know their plan is foiled, and they're gonna have to think of something on the go. So, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's really it could be anything. Yeah, it's a probably detailed plan. Sometimes they always change once the first bullet's fired. Yeah, and you know another thing that makes it that makes it so like immersive is the fact that it does change like that you know that's real life that's that's what happens you know pl plans have to change yeah so usually when i'm command i usually kind of lay out just the basic kind of overview of what's going on and then let's just get there and see what happens see everybody's starting to mount up in the u.s side that's awesome Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, one of the assets the U.S. gets is, and that's the Humvee. This particular one's the open top. Uh, it has good defense, good firepower. That that 50 is very effective at suppressing. Uh, it's got good bullet pin. It's uh, <laughs> for this map. It's almost a necessity to have uh, these HMGs being able to roll around and suppress the INS in their uh, in their buildings. So, what do you think about the Humvee, Carpy? Well, they're definitely necessary, especially on this map. You know, it's 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 very open. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of covering fire, so you really do need something to suppress and keep the insurgents down. That way, the Americans can come in and push. So, 
you know, it'll be exciting to see how they use them. To each other. Um, as long as they Drive keep them, you know, precious, you know, keep them perfect. Yep, yep. The, uh, gun back over. Minute and a half, guys. If you're not 100% positive, you've well, out. it'll be interesting to see what happens to this convoy. I am, uh, I'm kind of excited to see. I mean, I'm kind of used to being in there watching or commanding or squad leading, so it's it's kind of fun to sit back and watch the plans unfold and see what happens. I'm always interested in human behavior and seeing the ants scurry once the uh, drop of water hits the ground kind of thing. Uh, let's go with our exact stage yeah, I really enjoy that too, you know. Sometimes I look forward to dying just so I could uh, see, you know, how they tried to attack or, you know, where this main part of their platoon is. So it's very cool to see how it goes down. Yeah, and one well, there we go. You're watching Google, Google Trek. Sees the commander at INS. He is ready. He's ready to receive some Americans right now. We're going to be live here in about 25 seconds. Basically, the building floor is. If there's a roof above you, it's a building. That's one of the advantages of the of defending the Al Basra uh, areas. These multi-story apartments. They have great sight lines to see the approach of the U.S. team. They are, they're good for uh, firing down the Americans as they're running in the streets down below. And there we go, we're live. So, so let's watch what the INS does here. Pickily fast in the transports. 60 kilometers an hour. So just make sure your driver slows down a bit because they're going max speed. Hey, slow down. Uh, you're watching uh, Server 404 right now. He is in the MRAP. Leading the convoy. So we're following this convoy now. We're going to see what the U.S. does. Um, looks like they're making a left on this turn here. Uh, it's going to be exciting right, when the battle starts the to go down. Well, so far so good for the U.S. They haven't run into any motorcycles running up to him, v bitted to death. Yeah, that's true. For what, ATPS? Yeah, I'm going back and forth while I'm driving. Because of it. Copy. Yeah, it's not great. Alright, now get on, get on to the main MSR. Or use the road, never mind, just use it up here. U.S. is getting close. They are definitely getting close. And no shots fired yet. I'm sure the insurgents have to see this. Yeah, I mean, they're going crazy. They're doing jumps and everything. They're loud and proud. Yep. Call the halt whenever you're ready. Halt. Halt. Dismount. We dismount. Oh, it looks like the U.S. convoy Contact stopped. Looks like they're dismounting maybe, getting security. Oh, first shots. There we go. Oh, and they just bailed out. Oh, they're, sh they're shooting at Miyamoto, who's setting down uh, some uh, <laughs> mines now. So it looks like they're pushing into refinery. And they are definitely taking some shots. Yep, I see some health bars going up there. I've got them all shifting into refinery north side. Yep, Miyamoto's definitely spotted them. He's seen them move off to the refinery. He's kind of trapped now. He's got some smokes out. So it looks like they finally got into refinery. They're going to probably start to spread out in here and clear it out. 
but we'll see what happens. See what goes down. Spread it out, guys. Oh, thank Spread you, it out. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're starting to regroup, trying to get back with their squad leaders and their fire teams. Some are bandaging up. You know, it looks like a few bars. People got hurt, took a few bullets, so. You guys are out of crazy rushing right now. We're moving through the refinery, making good work of it. So far, it looks like they're doing the almost a full platoon flank here. Yeah, I, I see an enemy technical at uh, alleys on the bridge. Sounds like the U.S. just spotted these lodges crossing over. Well, the U.S. is starting to creep up with those uh, HMGs right now. We're getting pretty close to lat range. Yep, I told them after this dump. They will, they will. Have we built both those dish gun places? Google, Google has to see this move up. He's probably getting... He's getting probably... Uh, there we go. Oh, Han Solo sees guys up in the building. He's on the MRAP. Yeah, the, the IADS is all over these multi-story buildings. Yeah, he's keeping their heads down. That's really what you need. M Retinal, that's a home V, is holding just uh, just north of those mines, actually. Oh, well, it's just a just a bunch of small arms exchange right now, pretty much, and just those home Vs nailing the, the building. So, see see what the U.S. can do here. I think once they get a little closer to the INS, things are going to get a little more deadly. Yeah, you know, the INS definitely have the advantage close close quarters. They got the AK, so, you know, the U.S. best bet is to get them at a little bit more range. Oh! Han Solo, the MRAP, almost took a RPG from XF. Yeah, they're getting close. Oh, and another one just passed by. INS really wants to take that MRAP out. That's three lats at it. Uh, the squad moving up here through the refinery is doing good work. Got good cover here. Jay Remix up here in the front. Serrer is moving up behind him right now. That's his squad lead. Buildings now. I'll update Humvees and MRAP. I see more of them. Looks like they're just trying to see if they got contacts. They're suppressing with the, uh, the Humvees, but there's nobody in that building. Oh, we're gonna... right, I still see that hat. It is right there next to the building. It's on our side of the road. Two full squads sitting here, ready to go. Yeah, we need those buildings south of refinery secure. We need that whole fucking block secure. So we can get this head up. Let's, let's still be so slow we, methodical, even though we know where the hab is. So should we sweep south? Uh, correct. Yes, yeah, sweep, sweep right, boys, south. Alright, we're gonna sweep south. Clear you every single fucking building. You see the buildings in the building. fucking Golf 7 keypad three columns? Three, the three, columns, the three, the three two, one. Hey, I need the northernmost buildings clear, okay? So the buildings clear. Oh, sounds of mortars are coming out now. Yeah, definitely. Now the United... Oh! That was a huge bomb that just went off. So that Humvee is on fire right now. They are backing that up. They are getting it away from the city. Yep, that right was the Modus are... IED there. Yeah, they are sitting ducks right now. Well, with all that excitement on the MSR, they've got three full squads pushed up here now, but the INS is starting to adjust their fire. They see them. 
Wrong room. Got a whole lot of right, dudes well, here stacked up in one building. Looks like they're starting to move, making good progress through these buildings. Not, and INS is just holding still. They're not moving. They're waiting for the U.S. to come to them. It looks like we got a dish guy at the end of the street down here, trying to hit nail some targets. Yeah, so it sounds like uh, they want the best, uh, they want the Humvee support so they can push forward. Yeah, there's nothing but open ground between each of these buildings. It's hard to move up, especially if the INS holds the south side of the street. And those mortars are just pushing them in. They're right behind them, wherever they move. Looks like Gon Gonzo on the MRAB just took a hit from the RPG. It's on fire now. Oh, almost took another one. Yeah, so the MROB's taking one RPG. It's definitely hurt right now. Let's see what they do with it. They're gonna have to play a little bit more careful. They can't push up as much. Oh, and here's Harrison. Harrison's running up. Oh, Harrison sees him. He's got him in his view. Look at this. Oh! Gonzo's down. They lost the gunner. This this MRAB's empty. Yeah, it sounds like the squad leads over here in the U.S. are asking for that support because they can't move forward anymore because it's just all open here and the INS is starting to shoot at the buildings they occupy. Yeah, it's not good. They have an MRAB that's just sitting there. It's unoccupied. We got Pete King here in the Humvee. Just looking around, trying to see if he can spot anybody to shoot, keep down. Well, so far, it looks like the US has lost seven to the INSS4. So. Wow, surprising. Yep. Oh, wow, another RPG coming close. Yep. He's reversing. They're reversing. I don't know where all those kills came from. Maybe the crossing or the Humvee or something. Or it looks like there is. A... Ooh, the, these INS is just deadly with these lats right now. A frag just got into a building and took out two or three U.S. soldiers. All those mortars are looking for those Humvees. Yeah, they're a little off, it looks like, but they're definitely getting closer. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Yep. They just keep pushing those Humvees in, which is actually a good idea. Bring them closer. Bring, feed the lats. <laughs> yeah, right? don't have gunners anymore. Good work, guys. Yep, no gunner. He's retreating without a gunner. The U.S. advance is almost stalled here. They're just holed up in these buildings. Yeah, they really got to, uh, you know, they really need the covering fire from the Humvees so they can push in a little bit more, at least as a distraction. But even the Humvees, for me, have stalled. Finally, looks like they're getting some suppression on that multi-story building. Slowly moving up in fire teams now. There's a dishka here at the end of the street that's preventing them from crossing. It's possible. Take a shot from the west. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh. Read 
building. Hum Humvees just took another hit. It's, it's on fire now. Oh, it just took another hit. Yeah, these Humvees are taking a lot of abuse this game. Oh, this Humvee might be down. Let's see. He's not in a good place right now. Uh, he's smoking. He needs an oil change. Wow. Did he really make it? That's impressive. And those mortars landed just where they were, too. Well, it looks like the US, is, US has moved up. They've got, looks like, two squads focused in the uh, north buildings here, while they've got another squad here that is flanking. Where is that techie at? Maybe gotta... set up as overwatch or fire support here in this yeah. multi-store here in the corner. I think there's a uh, disco sure. in it, it, It's crispy. Let's see what he sees. Looks like he's moving around inside right now, trying to readjust. You get a window to peek to see where these INS are hiding on the other side here. Well, we're pretty far away. I used this building in the EU uh, event earlier today, and it was pretty effective at expressing those buildings across Mosque. So without Humvees, they definitely need some fire support now. There's a lot of smoke and bullets flying around now. Alright boys, let's push to the next building. We're, just, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep clearing these buildings. It's getting real hard to keep track of who's dying and who's injured. Right, actually, it might be best for us to start. I think we should start clearing uh, west. Copy. Ooh, these mortars. If they weren't in these buildings, they would be paced right now. The U.S. is creeping up. They're, they're making progress. This is good to see. Possible contact north and east of us here on White Smoke. This is kind of a key juncture. Key juncture right now. And Google Trek sees him. He knows they're getting close. You know, the INS has done a pretty good job of just holding positions, peeking windows. Letting the U.S. come to them. Bringing the U.S. into close quarters and annihilating it. This Dishka is just making work of this road, though. Nobody can cross it. The Dishka is overwatching this hab sit here right in the middle of the street. And the U.S. is just one building away. Looks like the U.S. is using that Humvee off to the north, too, now to do some suppression on this multi-story. It looks like the U.S. now occupies this corner building here. Oof. Oh, just got a huge explosion here. That was a crazy shot through the window. It took out their uh, minigun. Yeah, that, that emplacement is gone. That is crazy. Yeah, now his That's... Egmo's building it back up, trying to get that useful again. That's one of the changes in the recent update, is that emplacements can be, uh, you know, crippled. That's a sweet lat shot, I wish I knew who that was. Yeah, that was a sweet lat shot. You know, one thing that I have noticed is everybody is using their explosives this game. So, you know, you gotta use who you got. The U.S. seems pretty stalled. They they can't make it past uh, this one building they're held up in. Anywhere they get into this little kind of kill triangle the INS have set up over the hab, it's just it's too bad for them. There's no cover, no concealment, nothing to move towards. They're actually going to have to remove the INS out of the buildings to get into that hab. So we got Crazy Russian live right now. It looks like they're starting to move into the mosque.
Yes. Yes. Hulk. We got one. Looking, uh, looking at Moss, trying to clear it out, making sure that uh, nobody is around while they sweep this city to get to the hab. Yeah, he right, has definitely needs a, a different approach here. You know, a different building. angle on these buildings. These buildings are just locking down this this uh, intersection. About fourth floor. Across the road. I think I got him. Okay, so now we see Server 404. It looks like he sees somebody. Let's see what he does right now. He's got his binoculars out. He's looking uh, towards the top of the buildings. Alright, on me, on me, on me. Yeah, the 260, top floor, 260, across the road. Copy. This is gonna be a risky move. Wow, and if uh if you look at this, Torch is sitting up here on the minaret, and look at look at the whole squad right below him. You know, all he has to do is peek over and he can get a few kills. Let's see what he's doing. Oh wow, Fatal Donuts is right below him! Torch is down! And he fell all the way down. <laughs> Fatal donuts, wow. Well, at least there was a glorious death, right? Yeah, oh, and it looks like he put an IED up here. I wonder what he was gonna do. Uh, that's strange. Maybe he thought somebody yeah. was gonna take that high minaret and then blow him up. I don't know. Wow. Put forward to where squad three is. Let's go. Well, doesn't look like it worked, so. Well, they've got like they got a fire team now moved up into this two-story right here on the corner, and that dishka is just pinning the heck out of these walls. These guys are really injured, scrambling for cover any corner they can get to. This is pretty intense. Oh, they just lost one over there. Looks like Fatal Donuts just took some shots. Looks like it took a shot from Kahuna. Building two ten from my position two and Mark standing two in. Oh, and it looks like the insurgents are starting to push. They're gonna start rushing upstairs and they're gonna blow see what happens. I got in here. Once they get in there, they need to rush up the stairs. Copy. You want them to just rush in? Yes, because this is, I know exactly what truth the is The U.S. is talking about right scout. now the there IEDs the insurgents have, and they like to put them on the first. There it goes. <laughs> yep. Oh. They called it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they lost two to it. That's unfortunate. When they, when they were close to falling. So, server errors pushing in, if you look at this. And there is guys right around the corner. Oh, and he is down. Server error 404. But we got It's Crispy, Triton, Silent Death, and Family Phantom all trying to push into this room. We'll see what happens here. Oh, uh, the US has lost 25 to the insurgents. Oh, 13. it's Banana! Banana comes. Truth Realm is down. Banana's down. It's Crispy is down. We got Family Phantom, Silent Death still here, trying to push into this building, which has been a death zone for the United States, oh, and so there sorry, goes Family. So oh, Crazy Russian Three. team killed! Oh, oh no! Close quarters, man, it gets, it gets uh, intense. Crazy Russian. Yeah, they, it really does, you know. You only have a second to react, and you have to be the quickest, so okay. sometimes that happens. But it looks like Crazy Russian took down Pandascope, so... Alright, so it looks like there is... So it looks like uh, there's still a few guys up in the top floors of this building. 
and SM Paradise just took down Fatal Donuts. SM Paradise or Kahuna, I'm not too sure which one of them, but they're both shooting. So the United States still has a lot to do when they uh, reach the top of this building. So now you're looking at a crazy Russian, he's in the building, he's trying to push still. It's death zone right now. Well, Van was almost going to take out a, a techie up here, but... Oh, they, SM Paradise is off. pushing up behind a crazy Russian in that building. It looks like the insurgents are trying to go and get him in the middle, sandwich them. Oh, okay. See what happens right here. SM Paradise. Oh, and a crazy Russian gets him. Oh, crazy Russian's down by Fulcrum and third person. It looks like, what do we have left here? We have the Humvee with Van in it. Maybe a couple of US soldiers left here in this corner building still. Yeah. Oh, they still need to clear this roadblock here, this half that's sitting in the middle. Now, I th I think by my count they have four soldiers left here. Yep. Night Raider, Fiddle, and Saga, and Van in the Humvee. That's all that's left. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not looking good for the United States right now. Um, you know, they definitely took a lot of casualties. You know, it's really hard to push on this map. You're out in the opens when you have enemies sitting in all these buildings in guerrilla warfare, you know. You don't know where they are. You have a lot of buildings to clear, a lot of land to sweep through. If you miss one building, that's a squad it could be in. They could come around from behind and wipe everybody. So, you know, it really is a difficult map. Yeah, they got smokes going out there on the east by the red container. They're on the same side. Google's still checking it out, seeing where they could be coming from. Two contacts. I think so too. I think so too. Oh, they're crossing back to the north side. Oh, good shots. I don't. Wrong com. Good shots. I don't think you hit him though. But that scared him. Yeah. I'm running uh, red on ammo. Oh, they're exiting back to the Humvee. Is what's going on? I see now. Well, Van's still running back here. He was the guy on the Humvee, but he's injured and alone. Nesh Dishka has just got him zeroed in. Well, it looks like he's going to return fire with it. Just readjusting the placement of this Humvee. And it looks like Fulcrum went down. Um, this is a little bit of a firefight going on with the United States right now. Oh, Night Trader just went down. And I believe that was Lightning that just killed him. It is not looking good for the US. No, it's definitely not. Looks like Saga. We got Saga on the United States left. And do um, you see anybody else? Oh, it looks yep. like there's someone far away over there. Yep, Van is on the no, Humvee. No more bandages. Anybody have a bandage? Oh, yeah, it looks US like uh, Saga's hit, and he said he doesn't have any bandages, so that's not good if he's bleeding. He might bleed out. Oh, he just took some shot, some fire. Oh, wow, look at this. Egmo is looking right for Saga. See what's gonna happen here. Oh, Egmo sees him. Egmo definitely. Oh, Egmo definitely saw him. Yep, here he comes. Oh, and Saga is down. Egmo. Well, 
I think Van is the last guy standing. And he just got out of the Humvee. <laughs> I think that Dishka is going to take it out now. Maybe not. I wonder what's going through his mind right now. Get back yeah, into that. no. That's that's <laughs> definitely nerve wracking to be uh, one of the last guys, but he is taking fire right now. And He's down. He just got shot out of the Humvee. I think that was it. There we have it. Good game. Good game. Yeah. Wow. See, you know, that's why you can't. Um, you know, you never know what to expect with these things. See, I wouldn't have ever expected so much insurgents to still be alive, but as you can see, you know, when you have a lot of cover, you have a lot of uh, places to check through. It's definitely difficult. Yeah, they definitely held their, their ground. They didn't move. They didn't chase the U.S. They let the U.S. come to them. Uh, they were really effective with fending off those uh, Humvees and the MRAP to the north with the LAT. So, well, that was round one, everybody. <laughs> stay, stay tuned because round two is going to be coming up here soon. We're going to flip sides. Uh, the insurgents now will have to attack, and the U.S. gets to defend. So we talked earlier about the SOT training and uh, all the things we do. We're going to run some footage now with uh, what we do in those and hope to see you guys back for round two.